Hi everyone, welcome back to The Money Drop, where we work to have a healthy relationship with money. Wanted to come on here because today has been a little rough. My most joy is coming on here to speak with you guys. And one, I've been sick the last week. Two, because I was sick, I dropped the ball with a few work items, so it's not looking good. Today's call was a little rough. I, I don't know what to do. I feel like... I'm the strategist of my agency, so people need me, and when I'm not there and a lot of campaigns are running, it just seems like things kind of perhaps fall apart a little bit, so it's not good for me to be sick, and eventually I need to hire on a different person to handle strategy as well, but it's rough, so all I really want to do is just cut paper and make envelopes and cash envelopes and whatnot, but I can't do that right now, but... Um, I was just so excited to have a moment to talk with you. I wanted to update you on my envelope box because I finally finished it and I swear I spent like eight hours on this dang thing, but I have it up on my site. Sorry, I might sound a little sick or weird in here. Hopefully it's not too annoying, but, um, let's see. So I have this available and I put it on a page on my boutique. So I did put this box up on my boutique. This is my version, so I'm not selling this one since I was experimenting with a few things and like picking the stickers off, putting them back on. I'll be making a few more versions of this one since I have some paper left to create them. And I put it up on my boutique instead of Etsy because I'm paying a lot to have my boutique live. So I thought, let me just put it on there and plus, Shopify charges less than Etsy. If you're wondering why it's not on Etsy, that's why. But this here is going to be a kit that I am selling and I actually have 20% off on my site. That's another thing is I can like do deals and send emails when I have more deals to you guys. So that's why another benefit of having it on Shopify. So don't mind these stickers. Like I said, I, w I originally put them in the corner here but I decided I didn't love that so then I picked them off and then put them up here so I just wanted to see because I kind of like sifting through and being able to see there's so many different ways that you can use these in different challenges technically the challenge I'm going to be doing with this I actually don't need these numbers but I simply just wanted to see what it looked like um, and also I might have to, I might like want to print on them instead of writing on them so this is my experimental set, but actually they are pretty easy to peel the stickers off since it is laminated, or you can just do a little blow dry to heat it up a bit and then you can uh, take off the sticker. So for this set, I have the regular marble and then I put a little divider here because these are more of like my first level and then it starts to get to the gold foil marble collection which I'm going to be putting a lot of money in here. So let me just go into my current challenge that I decided to make. And I'm also going to include a dry erase marker into the kit. So here is my challenge. I made this customized. In the kit, I'm actually going to make it generic. So I put 200 k for house down payment, but I'm going to make it generic so you can fill it in. And also the goal completed by, I'm going to put a line here so you can fill in the date that you want. Um, wow, my voice is very annoying right now, it seems. <laughs> Maybe I should talk softer. It's going to be saving 200000 I don't know if it's going to all fit in here. I will be replacing, you know, money with play money. It's not going to be good to put 200000 in this box, but I think it's fun. I was... Coming up with different layouts and this seemed to be the best route to go with is the tallying and um, I'm giving myself until August 2024 which is three years from now and I really want to try to complete it within two years but I want to give myself a realistic timeline because 200,000 is a lot obviously. This is crazy so it goes from 40s and then all of a sudden we're at well not all of a sudden but 40s to 5,000 right now my inc income has significantly decreased because surprisingly my position was eliminated so that was not a part of the plans but I'm not sweating it because 
I know I can figure out other things. For the future, after I complete this challenge, I might come up with a different, you know, challenge for the numbers. So, for instance, we have the pink, which is going to be these first 50. And then we have this, which is our kind of gold version, and then will be these. So maybe there might be a time where I'm like, oh, I can do 3,000 plus 100 over here. So I'm just going to simply grab this and grab one of these. And technically it doesn't really matter the number. You know, if I'm like, oh, yay, I'm excited. I have 12 here and all I need is 12. Then I'm just going to cross that out and know that that's completed. And because it's dry erase marker, it can easily wipe off. Or you can use an alcohol wipe to wipe it off. But that is going to be my system, and I think it'll work out great. And I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait to stuff this. I think I'm going to stuff it in a different video because I'm just struggling today. <laughs> Today's a struggling Monday, that's for sure. So that's what's going to be in the kit. I'm going to update the site of what yours look like. You can actually email me at themoneydroplife at gmail.com if you don't want the numbers, if you do want the numbers. I want to allow, you know, customization a little bit. But like I said, I'll have three more of these sets available. Pink handled one or I have a blue handled one, which looks like this. So I actually... I cannot, I can't wait to make this again, even though I was so slow making these. I just got these envelopes here, and as you can see, I haven't put stickers or anything. I just was going through and lab labeling them with post-its of what I want them to be and just rearranging things. So that's the first step, and I have a few cute binders. I bought extra binders in case any of you want them after I complete it, but this is what I have going on next. So. Those are my updates. Hopefully I can do, like show you what binders I'm going to be working with. I currently have four sections right now. Um, so I'll run through those on a different video, but I can't wait. I'm gonna try to stuff this by end of week. I am selling more furniture. So you can check my other videos for updates of what I've been up to, but right now I am making way less than what my bills are. Right now it's kind of a deficit, I suppose you could say. However, I am selling furniture and doing things and I might do extra things like go to Goodwill, look for good items that I could sell on Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, etc. So I'm definitely feeling like being in hustle mode. Anyways, let me know if you like this and thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe. Would love to have you friends here, and I'll see you in the next video.